For me, I think that whenever we have discussions around ethnic communities or ethnic needs or ethnic potential, it's often framed negatively. And for us to now have a conversation and actually display the ethnic advantage, which is the, the huge array of skills, talents, potential that ethnic communities provide, I think that's an awesome platform for us to really showcase. When I think of ethnic advantage as a name for the conference, it's about all the benefits that diversity brings, that ethnic diversity brings to our society in New Zealand. We have economic, social, cultural enrichment that comes from diversity. So while most of the conversation tends to be about community needs, ethnic communities have got all these things that they need because they've come from other countries and those things are true. But the key thing we need to be focusing on is when we meet those communities' needs, what does New Zealand get? What does Aotearoa New Zealand get? And what it gets is the benefits that diversity brings, the advantage that we have as a country with the huge diversity that we have. Ethnic advantage, I guess there are many, uh, many themes there within that. You know, we have a saying, iti te kupu, nui te kōrero. So there are, there are uh, many, I guess, guess, advantages that we could take um, about coming together. So I sit with a, a board as mana whenua representative for in common. So it's about um, encouraging, encouraging us all as ethnic people to find something that's in common with one another. Mm -hmm. And so I see that's part of this, this conference and the diversity of um, the diverse corridor that's going to happen mm -hmm. to help us find something that we have in common with one another to be able to walk together. So I think the opportunities uh, are big, are great. It's a bigger picture than I guess what we all think. Well, what comes to my mind, I guess, is that concept uh, in how it relates to my profession, I guess, and my um, place of work. I think for me, something that's really important is um, being a storyteller and this idea of ethnic advantage, I think, relates to um, stories that are being told in New Zealand. As, as a creative, I, that is the utmost importance to me because that's my craft. And I say this all the time that um, diversity is not just white people and brown people. Diversity is, diversity is much richer than that and much more complex than that and much more nuanced than that. And for me, I think ethnic advantage um, is the richness of stories being told and for us to start to see the diversity and see the nuance um, in storytelling. Because when that happens, then a level of empowerment, um, a level of empowerment will occur that I don't think we've seen yet, where children and teenagers and young adults truly see themselves in stories being told. And that's when people of all different backgrounds will feel that real, um, level of empowerment that will drive them to then go do whatever they want to do, feeling represented, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I really go into this idea that for a lot of our history, we haven't been great at dealing with not even only um, the indigenous bicultural tangata whenua conversation, but then we have a whole lot of other diversity which we haven't often seen as an advantage. And so this conversation today is so ultimately a Important because the potential's there. The potential is there to take the kind of diversity that's very specific to colonial settler nations like this one, where you have an indigenous population, where you have a, a large settler population, and then you have all of these other people who have set, settled more recently. Um, and how do we, the potential's there, how do we make that into an advantage? So it challenges my thinking because the first place I go to is we haven't always seen it as an advantage. Um, we may see it more so now, but there's still a great deal of work to be done um, for it to really, you know, um, live its potential, you know, the ethnic diversity. And I think that's our message to the world. Mm -hmm. I think that we're famous for a lot of other things, but one, um, I, I hope that in the future we're famous for ethnic advantage for showing the world this, this can actually work. You can actually get the best out of a hugely um, ethnically, racially and culturally diverse population.
for me, um, ethnic advantage means harnessing the positive, the energy, the power of all people. So that resonates really strongly with Māori. Um, under Te Tiriti or Waitangi, the theme um, of Oriti Tanga in terms of equity for all means that all people um, should be able to access all things uh, within Aotearoa New Zealand. Te Akofai Ora, part of our role is to ensure that, that that happens. Now what that actually means is that that we understand better what um, all cultures bring to Aotearoa New Zealand, which isn't to say that all cultures become blended into one, because that's absolutely not um, how we see it. What we see is beauty and difference, beauty and um, diversity, and beauty coming together. So, so harnessing the strengths of all people who live here in Aotearoa. I think it's such a strong title because it speaks to the positivity, the advantage that it is, and it truly is. I mean, I honestly believe that. I've, I come from America, and uh, you know, it was multicultural there, where I was from to a certain extent, but certainly coming here to Aotearoa, and then I've lived in Australia as well, and coming back here only two months ago, uh, but the number of different um, communities and different voices different ways of doing things, different foods, I love all that. There's so much advantage, um, truly, that we get as a society from having all of that. And I'm, I'm really big on this, even in my team at work, I want to have lots of different um, people that are from different backgrounds and from different communities, uh, because that gives us much better decision making. There's a real strength in having all of those different voices and different experiences around the table. So I think it's a fantastic theme and there's such a great vibe of being able to come together. And I know we've had those you know, COVID years where we weren't able to do that, which has made it all the sweeter. But coming together to see this as a strength and to remind all of us, I mean, I'm a migrant to this country too, technically, uh, but to remind all of us that that's actually a really positive thing, a really good thing. So I, I commend you on putting these conferences together. It's fantastic. I think it's the dislocation and disconnection that we experience as migrants in a different land. The fact that we bring our cultural roots and traditions onto different land makes us different. And that difference can be a really good advantage. It is normally spoken of and portrayed of as, as a problem, you know, whether it's about not being able to find a job or not being able to settle in. But the reality is I do what I do now and I can do what I do now because I'm not Kiwi. And I think differently because I come from a different background. I come from a different upbringing. So I think inherently where the advantage is isn't necessarily just the fact that we have ethnicity, however you want to define it, but it is the fact that we have that and we're not, for me anyway, in Malaysia or China. You know, where I was an Asian until I came here to New Zealand. It was weird. Ethnic advantage to me is about celebrating uh, our differences to be able to uh, create win wins across the board in order to be able to achieve sustainable outcomes and positive outcomes for the future generations um, that make sure that we're ensuring that using uh, all of our learnings from our different cultures and, and ethnic backgrounds that we uh, use them for the betterment of our communities and for our children. So when I first heard it, I thought, hmm, is that, is that saying we're going to have a day of promoting your ethnic advantage, you know? And I think there would be some people that would say, do I have an advantage being from an ethnic community? And, uh, but there hasn't been a conversation like that, so I've, I may have read it wrong. Um, I don't know what a name would be, but I did think that that was an interesting name. And maybe there was a reason for it. We're all, we're all talking, well, we're not all talking about it, I'm talking about it, but you know, people will be thinking about that. For me, um, in personal opinion, uh, I never really saw my ethnicity as an advantage. I kind of saw that as a disadvantage. So um, just the theme, you know, advantage, um, it really makes me think, actually, 
I do bring these skills, these values, these perspectives, this way of life and these worldviews that can contribute to making positive impact. And I think we should put more emphasis on this and break that stereotype or that you know, negativeness when it comes to um, someone of ethnic background. I really like the name. I think it's something people always think being ethnic member um, of the community sometimes is a disadvantage. Um, language barriers, cultural shocks and stuff. But to me, um, naming it advantage is actually make people think twice. Is that really a, a, a bad thing? Or is it something actually really good and empower you to do something different and better? And I think what Mervyn mentioned today was very um, good. Is I think diversity should be nurtured, should be celebrated in the community. Ethnic advantage, because I've been living here quite a long time, I noticed that uh, after March 15, I got my voice as a migrant, got her more. And I think we are so, this country has so much beauty, beauty and diversity, and there are so much beauty and amazing things that we can learn from each other. I think, I, I don't know, I wouldn't call it an advantage, but the fact that we are different, we can bring all these beautiful things um, up and help society with them. Yes, so that, I, I see it that way, like we enrich this country in different ways. It's probably quite broad, ethnic uh, advantage. I guess there was different topics that covered uh, what ethnic communities brings to the society. So I guess there was all positive. Obviously, there was challenges that was discussed, what ethnic communities face in terms of challenges, starting a new life, and, uh, and how they would struggle as, as they go through their new lives in New Zealand, but the, the positive aspects was that how they contribute back to the society. So, uh, personally myself, like Abbas uh, Nazari discussed how his family started from zero and now contributing back to the society. And, and similar for myself as a former refugee, I, sat, I came here in 2006, uh, started to learn language, you know, worked as a laborer in Ashburton, uh, and then went to university, you know, he started to learn more English, obviously went to university, became an engineer, helped with the uh, rebuild of the Christchurch city, and now I've got my own consultancy business within 15 years, so that's quite a speedy way. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm quite grateful that that opportunity has been given for the, for the migrant communities, yeah. Ethnic advantage to me means to um, include all races um, and see them as equals and involve them in all sorts of um, policy agreements and things like that. You know, when I think of the ethnic advantage, I think it just, um, you know, it talks about, you know, ethnic communities, pe members of our ethnic communities to be able to live their lives authentically and be able to make the most out of their experience, their culture, their language, their spirituality. Yeah.